Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If your engine's overheating or you're noticing strange behavior with your cooling system, it's likely because of a thermostat or water pump issue. But did you know that while both of these parts control your engine's temperature, their failures can pose or cause slightly similar but different symptoms? Today, we're gonna break down the specific signs of a bad thermostat versus a bad water pump so you can pinpoint your specific problem faster. Signs of bad thermostat versus water pump. First, let's look at thermostat issues or signs. The thermostat is a small but vital part that controls when coolant flows to the engine. If it fails, it tends to get stuck either open or closed, which leads to specific symptoms. Now here are the symptoms of bad thermostat. Number one, overheating engine, usually due to closed thermostat. If the thermostat gets stuck in the closed position, it prevents coolant from circulating, which causes the engine to overheat. You'll notice your temperature gauge steadily climbing higher than normal, even if you're driving at a consistent speed. Number two, erratic temperature gauge. If your thermostat is stuck open or malfunctioning, it can cause the temperature gauge to fluctuate wildly. You might see the needle jump up and down, making it seem like your engine is constantly shifting between too hot and too cold. Number three, cold heater in the cabin. When a thermostat fails and gets stuck open, the engine doesn't warm up properly. As a result, the heater inside your car may blow cold air, even on the chilliest days. Water pump issues. Now onto the water pump. The water pump is responsible for circulating coolant throughout the engine. If it fails, the cooling system can't work properly, leading to similar symptoms to bad thermostat, but slightly different. So here are the symptoms of a bad water pump. One, overheating engine, normally due to low coolant flow. Just like a bad thermostat, a failing water pump can lead to overheating. But here's the difference. A bad water pump may allow the thermostat to open properly, yet still fail to circulate the coolant effectively. The result is a hot engine, even though the thermostat is technically working. Number two, car coolant leaks. This is a symptom unique to the water pump. If you notice a puddle of coolant under your car, it's likely coming from the water pump. When the pump seals wear out, it can cause coolant to leak, which reduces the effectiveness of the entire cooling system. And lastly, number three, an unusual noises. A water pump that's on the brink of failure often makes whining or grinding noises as the bearings wear down. You won't typically hear this from a malfunctioning thermostat. Troubleshooting, bad thermostat versus water pump. Now, how can you actually tell or figure out which part is actually causing your problem? Simple, if you're noticing coolant leaks or strange noises, it's likely the water pump. If your temperature gauge is erratic or the engine is running hot, even though you're driving steadily, the thermostat is most likely the issue. Now, if you found this video to be helpful and you're ready to get better on diagnosing and fixing issues in your car by yourself, then download our ultimate troubleshooting cheat sheet and car maintenance checklist. The link to grab your copy will be in the description box below.